presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We have a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. It's a great card, folks, okay, but bottom line, it's a pretty tough one to handle. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 70, NASDAQ off 13, S&P's off 7.5, gold contract up $4.50, trading at 1760 an ounce. We got silver down 12 cents, $22.54 an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, $80.59 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year up nine ticks, trading 131.04. The 30 year up uh, full point, plus three ticks at 158.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 200 ticks, trading out at 94.516. Euro at 115. The yen's at 113.63. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at it. This is going to get interesting, and this is what it is, folks. I'm going to bring up the futures first because I want to show you something here. The market has been building cars to basically get to lower price. Now, and that's, I'm talking about like all, all morning long here. It's pretty cool what, what is happening. And each and every time that we've come down to the lower part, of the consolidation that have been in intraday, the volume has contracted. That being said, what we haven't done yet is that we haven't tested the low that was established out here at 20 minutes to 10 this morning. So my take is that we're going to go after that low, and we'll see why this thing just falls apart. Uh, what we did have out here at the 10 past 2 uh, Eastern time, the bottom line, it tried to get up, it tried to get over the swing point, and guess what? It failed. Uh, so now the bottom line is that what we do have is this. The last, that we're a, a nine minute, we're 309. I use these 10 minute bars, so we've got one minute left on this. The last 10 minute bar that was, would, you know, 10 of uh, three to three, bottom line had volume. This one's a little less volume. Uh, that being said, it's going to close, it's going to, this bar will close right at the swing that's being that's established here at like 43.41. We're at 43.44. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. My take is that you're going to get more weakness coming into the close. Bottom line, this market wants lower price. And the X100. We take a look at the three Qs. We bring up the three Qs. We have with the three Qs out here right now. They're down 95 cents. They've been consolidating all day. You can see the same bar that when it went top side had some juice behind it, but it couldn't take out the swing point from this morning. Uh, the, on the way down, same type of setup. Each time we've come down to the bottom of this, meaning the bottom of 356.77, uh, doesn't have enough juice to basically blow it away. I think that'll change as we come into the close. We'll see how that baby shakes out. Gold. Gold contract out here caught a bid. Gold's in a confirmed ABC structure. In the, well, it's in a complex ABC structure on the way up. And what that means is that you check out the B point. The B point is 1770.71. 10. We took it out with volume. You gave it up on price. Now what has happened is that you're coming up to that again. I'm glad to hit it today because we did 161,000 contracts thus far. Actually, I think we did 150 at the B point. One second. Hold it. Wouldn't even. 
Yeah, it is. So the B point is actually, this is going to be pretty cool. So watch what's going on here, folks. We have a complex ABC structure on the way up inside the gold contract, okay? What happened on Friday, gold goes higher, gives it up on price, blows away the B point. We pulled back yesterday and we pulled back with 115,000 contracts. Today, you'll get more contracts than the B point, but yet you didn't take out the price. That's actually pretty cool because when you start pushing again on a B point or any type of swing point and you do get an expansion of volume, your probability is much higher that you're going to get it. So I suspect next couple of days, gold is going to continue to go to higher price. Silver, we look at the silver contract out here. Silver's down 10 cents. We're trading out of the price point of 22.56. This is rejected 22.32 this morning. Same setup. This is still this. Oh, look at this, man. I like it. So this is your B point had 35,000 contracts and we're at 41. Said the same thing. We're going higher, man. That's the bottom line. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market, T-Y-Z. We take a look at the 10-year first. What we have with the 10-year, 10-year right now is up nine ticks. Uh, this, we'll see uh, how this shakes out. I mean, I, I like what it did. It came into the swing point of the 16th of uh, June. Um, that's the bottom of the range here. You know, we got 1.5 million contracts, not bad. We'll see whether this is just a counter trend bounce are in fact going to get something going and good old king dollar we go over to king dollar uh king dollar right now up 197 ticks uh your last swing high is 94503 we're over that right now what this is going for folks this is going for the high the swing high that was established out here going all the way back to september of 2020 and that number is 94742 uh, that's what it looks like it's going after. Some of the higher volume equities out here uh, today. You got uh, Ford's up 47 cents. You got uh, Ma Bell down 61. Apple's off 85. You got uh, Verizon down 92. Facebook's off 369. You have Plug Power up 213. Uh, Tesla's, Tesla's, Tesla's moving, man. Tesla's up 16 bucks. I suspect Te Tesla is about the only one I've seen thus far out here that really has any movement in it. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. The weakness is uh, Micron Tech down 4%. You got Amgen down 2.9. Uh, DocuSign is off 2.7. And Texas Instruments is down 2.74. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise out here, we have, we have the uh, sales force are putting 43 positive points, Nike 19, uh, Goldman Sachs 12. Let's go to Nike. I want to see. Nike's been into this gap, and let's see what, how, what it's doing in this gap. So Nike's up 251. Yep, you get a contraction of volume coming up. Okay, so the, 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 this gap's going to get filled, man. Yeah. You get so you, you get down to 144. You're at 153 right now. You get contraction of volume in a big way. 153.66. Didn't hit that yet. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 89. We get the Nasdaq off 21. S&P's got the down there, down 9.5. Uh, now, let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, coming up, Basil always does some outstanding workshops for his subscribers, folks. He is going to be doing a workshop. It's going to be a week from today, man, October 19th from 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. Basil is going to be talking about uh, what to prepare for into the year's end, the year's end of 2021. Check that out. And what sectors to focus on now. So what happens here, folks, is this. You can come over. You can test drive Basil's newsletter. What happens is that you get the newsletter for a month. You're going to pay for it. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, you're going to get your money back. But what you're also going to get, you're going to get into Basil's workshop next week, 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand how the Chapman Wave works. You want to understand how this, you're riding the wave inside this marketplace. Check it out, folks. It's going to be a great workshop. Always a great newsletter. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. You know, I, I heard, you know, and I, I just loved hearing this too, man. Uh... Monday morning, I'm listening to your show, and uh, I hear you're, you're driving back from Brooklyn, and of course, I know you're going to see your grandchildren. <laughs> right. Right? Isn't that cool, man? Absolutely, yes. It, it's just amazing, man. I mean, it blows my mind. You know, I know you always hear about this, folks, but grandchildren change your life, man. I mean, there's something, there's just something magical about it, man. I mean, it's... Well, there is. It's yeah. just, uh, it's, uh, not only that, it's kind of the way you now gauge age, because... They're growing up, but you're getting older, and uh, it's yeah. a way that you can kind of judge time. And, Ooh, and time flies. I mean, you scary. remember when I went to, when I went to Brooklyn when it, when it, when the first one was born? That's uh, 14 years ago. Wow, that's, it's amazing. So that yeah, it's so exciting. Cool. And I also actually got to play tennis in Brooklyn. It was, nice. It was very nice. Good weather we've had lately. That's beautiful. So let, can we talk a little about the webinar first, Basil? So what I like to do always. <clears throat> Mostly over the year, when I have these webinars, I try to plan it so that we're looking at a potential market turn in the, it just <clears throat> from either going down to going up. Yes. But in this particular instance, because this is a very complex, and I'm talking about time. If you look at the NASDAQ, you're talking about 
some of these stocks have had spectacular moves. So you, you can understand if they take six or even nine months to consolidate. <clears throat> so what I thought was would be appropriate is don't let's look for some kind of big market turn as soon as I do my webinar and often we, we get that. But that's not the issue. The issue is I think we are starting to, starting to look at sectors. They're the, the former sectors <clears throat> and there are the new sectors. They're the sectors that are under the radar. That is, they've had a buying. You can see the charts improving. No one's really talking about that. <clears throat> certain sections of security, certain sections of, of defense, uh, aerospace. So <clears throat> I'm looking at those. We've already started some positions in that area, working out quite nicely. I also like to have a section that I call screamer stocks. These are stocks that are under $10, single digits. And they have the potential, sometimes within a day, if we can time them right, just to start a quick move up. And I show how you can, we can get in. We've done this many times. You get in and we raise the stop immediately and we whittle it away. So we, if everything works out, we're left with a position at the end of the day, which sometimes turns out into a nice position for a couple of weeks. Right. Sometimes you, you're out immediately. So there's that. The other thing is <clears throat> the patterns I look for. For instance, here's a very good example. I'm showing the Dow, and if you can see it there, but I'm showing the Dow chart. On the left here is the daily chart. I spoke about this sometime. I said the Dow made an all-time high at 35,631, August the 18th. We were fortunate. We did, we did short the Dow uh, just about 100 points off the all-time high. We held it for a while. We're out of that. We have a core position still from the long position we got on the day of the low of August of, of last year, March the 23rd, 2020. So we're trading around that. We've had little positions that we keep buying the diamonds for these big rallies. So there are trades that we can make. But what are the what are the patterns? Look how easy it is to identify. Look, this bottom one here has a straight line down and then an arch. I call that the lowercase h pattern. I nicknamed it the dreaded H. Why? Because when it takes out that left side low, it can continue much lower. Well, look, here's the H pattern, and it took out that left side low. It went much lower. There was a little mini one right there, took it out. And then what I said is be careful because that lowercase h can become a lowercase m. And that would mean that we can bounce but not break above the high because there's a lowercase m pattern, a second arch. Well, look at this. That's exactly what we've got here. Even yesterday, it will... Over the last four sessions, we've had a spike to a, a particular technique that I'll be demonstrating and showing um, how you how you can use it in your own uh, charting. Look, lower lows, and this becomes what I call a chap wave inside track repellent zone. And look how many times this trend line has hit been hit exactly, even yesterday, hits exactly and pulls back. And there you go, from the lowercase h to the lowercase m. So as I'm explaining it, you can see it live. And I'm going to be doing that with a lot of charts, a lot of positions that I'd like to get. These are stocks that are on the buy list. I've waited patiently, and I think they're coming close to starting to enter these positions. So that's what we'll be talking about again. And then I'll explain that I always talk about a rectangle pattern. A rectangle pattern can last a lot longer than your patience. Look at this, the down made a high. <clears throat> 35,091 back in May, pulls back to 33,271, <clears throat> and then very briefly goes to the all time high of 35,631. Where are we? This is now <clears throat> eight months later, seven months later. We're still in this trading range. So, trading ranges, how do you deal with trading ranges? What, what, what did they do? You, know, you were mentioning the GDX just a moment ago. Look at the GDX. This is the gold miners went sideways in the, in the weekly chart. Look at this, it went for weeks sideways and then it broke down. How do you deal with a stock that breaks down or a pattern? Well, there's a way that you can de deal with it. This is what I call Chapman Wave one-to-one -one parallel extension. It went all the way down, almost hit that one-to-one uh, -one extension and now it's turned up. So there are patterns that I'll be showing that apply to the charts. You don't even have to know what they are. You're just looking at patterns and I also want to introduce some fundamental things where I'm saying 
I think security is a big deal. So uh, um, an, an ETF like HEC, which we don't own right now, but we're yeah. looking to see on the next pullback, this is the prime cybersecurity ETF. When do you get into it? I mean, security, cybersecurity is here to stay. This looks like a long-term buy, but maybe uh, you have to find the right place. So there are a lot of stocks that we're looking at that we would like to enter on the long side, and I'll be talking about that. So it's, a very, it's going to be a very productive webinar because it's part and parcel of what we're looking at all the way through years end. And I've spoken to you about the S&P only being in leg B. That means 2021 is the earliest it can get to that leg D. And so folks, there are all these things we'll put together. And folks, it's very easy to come into Basil's workshop. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You hit open and call. You're going to get the newsletter. You're going to get a great workshop next uh, Tuesday from Basil. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Too. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down to 71. We get the NASDAQ off 7. S&Ps are off 5.5. And, a half. and uh, bottom line, uh, in you know our headquarters, of course, folks in St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, bottom line, we've been building down here for a long time, uh, and this is about as cool as it gets. You know, we had, uh, we need more businesses down here, okay? Uh, bottom line is that one of the, you know, ARK Investment, Kathy Wood, bottom line, she moved her firm here, uh, and she is a megaphone out here. So listen to this. This is pretty cool. So this is the headlines. Kathy Wood says St. Petersburg wants to be the next Austin. It will be the next Austin, too, by the way, okay? Um, when I saw the bones of the city, 
it's a picture. When I started building in Boston, bottom line, people think Boston was always like Boston, what they look at now. Uh, there wasn't, folks, okay? You know, the bottom line is that uh, <laughs> you were downtown Boston in uh, 1983, and there was nothing down there except uh, Tom O'Brien and his gang, okay? Uh, the bottom line is that, so this is Kathy Wood out here today. ARC Investment Kathy Wood is betting that St. Petersburg, Florida can become the next um, buzzy destination for technology firms. Uh, Woods touted the low cost of living in the Sunshine State, which has no income tax, and pushed back on the notion that it's just a place for retirees. Well, what's so funny about the place for retirees, folks, do you know what the, the m median age in St. Petersburg, Florida, okay, is 38 years old. I mean, it's the furthest thing away from retirement that you can think about. Um, we believe that St. Pete wants to become the next Austin, attract tech companies, attract innovation, Wood said in her ARC monthly new webinar Tuesday. Many people think of Florida and St. Pete's retirement home, and it's anything but. That's a fact, and thank you, Kathy. I'm gonna get her on. Um, we got, definitely gotta get her on. But right now, let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. I remember you could have bought lots in Dorchester and that for five thousand uh, dollars back in the eighties and stuff. I looked at some of those lots and also too as people don't realize there's no personal property tax on vehicles and stuff where you have to pay those uh, up north too and also too your property taxes are locked in uh, they can't go up more than uh, three percent on your house uh, which locks in your, they can't keep raising property taxes like 10% or 12%. Sure. And people don't realize that around the country. But the uh, stock I want to look at is uh, at M MOS. MOS, and I know you used to work for them. Let's take a look. You got Mosaic, a low $16, the highs 42 That's today. This is for the year. Um, bottom line is that uh, they are printing money right now because what you have, of course, is that uh, food is high. We need more food. They, uh, look at this number, folks, okay? These, these companies, these nitrogen companies are absolutely phenomenal. When they want to raise prices, they're, they're going to go from $2.8 billion in 90 days to $3.7 billion. That's how much how fast they must have went up on their prices. And they're going to bring a dollar fifty-seven to the bottom line. So do you own this, Al? Are we looking to buy it? What are we doing here? I'm looking at it. It's broken into its highs. I'm also looking at uh, CF and also I, uh, yeah. IPI uh, Potash. Yeah, no, I know. Um, this is a one-way move. So let's take a look. So. You're taking out the B point. I guess you you know you can wait till let me see this. Okay, so the B point has 127 million shares. We've done 38. No, it's not gonna do it. Okay. So what I would do, Al, is this either wait for a pullback, or if it right. did, by the end of the week, man, if this did take the B point out, then I'd buy it. Because we, and normally I don't buy it when you take a B point out, folks, but this is what you have happening. So watch this. The A point on this is six dollars and fifty cents. Well the B yeah. point it's 38. So you got a 32 A to B, which gets you a 60, 32, yes, yeah, gets you a $60 you price get tag. You about $60. Right. So, you know, and you get a swing point at 75. So you get a swing, yeah, 64 is a swing too. That's how I, that's how I trade this, man. Um, it doesn't look yeah, to me I, you're going to, oh, hold it, hold it. One second. I see what I just did. One second. I get that wrong, Al. I put it on a monthly. Well, let's do a weekly. Let's see if we're going to get the volume. One second. Okay, so the weekly, 27 million. We did 23 last week. I see what happened. Okay. So I took it out with 23, and it's 27. That's still saying it was higher price, though. It's a nice setup, man. So on the daily, it took out... The, on the weekly, rather. It took out the B point, but it didn't have enough volume. We needed 27 million last week. It had 23, but that's 23.9. It's still a good number, man. Um, I just wait a bit. I, th I think you're more than yeah, likely. I, I, it's, it, I, I think it might pull back. Um, people don't realize with your, with your gold report, silver actually was one of the uh, worst. Uh, uh, investments this past year, but with the gold report and stuff like that, I didn't mind that because 
with the swings and stuff like that and the gold report and stuff like that, I mean, I, I had like a 45% gain. And uh, that's how important with the reports. You don't mind movements and stuff as long as you get the information. And I really appreciate all the good information I get uh, from your uh, gold report. Now, now uh, and, we appreciate and, the business, Al. Hey, man, yeah. you, have, you have a great one, a safe one. You take care. Thanks, Bye. man. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at Heckler. So Heckler come out with numbers, bad numbers. Don't buy the stock, folks. Bottom line, what you have here is that you're, you're taking a B point out. You get volume behind the move. You're down 37 cents. And this could be a little problem child here, man. Um, you know, you get a breakout at $4, from $4 to 317 And that's what it looks like it's going to drift down to. Uh, they come out with their numbers this morning. They come out with numbers this morning. So they had, okay, silver production of 2.7 million ounces. That was decreased uh, to lower grades at Green, at Green Creek based on my, mine sequence. And the bottom line is that they come in, I believe, with 25% less um, ounces of uh, silver. Gold production was 42,000. That was the same as last year. Zinc decreased. Uh, silver equivalent uh, was uh, 8.4 uh, million ounces. Uh, bottom line, it's not enough. That, that's, that's how the, that baby set up. So um, I'd, I'd let that go lower. That, that's, that's the real bottom line. Uh, Vista, we go take a look at Vista Gold out here. Vista Gold, uh, there we go. Vista Gold's trading out here at 72 cents, I believe. Yeah, 72 cents. We need a sign of strength in Vista. That's the bottom line. I mean, this thing's been going sideways, not going down any further. Um, I suspect Vista's going to make its way up to this 95 cents. That's a lot. 95 cents is the last place that we had volume on the way down. Um, that's what it is. Uh, Goldfields. Goldfields is on fire, and I, I own Goldfields, folks. Okay. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, in fact, this may be. We might have a nice small ABC up today. We do. No, 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 bummer, it needs 800,000 more shares. So th see this B point, this, this B point, man. <laughs> yeah, you need, you need, hey, the bottom line is you need more volume. And then uh, Ashante, too, that was going, let's see, this might get the volume. Nope, that's not going to have the volume either. It's up, they're both up. And when Goldfield starts moving, man, it really moves. There's no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrial's down 67. NASDAQ is flat. S&P's up five and a half. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 90. You get the NASDAQ off 13. S&Ps are off 9.5. And, and let's go take a look at ARWR. So uh, Tiger is looking for, see if we get any more. This is Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals. The low's 44, the high's 93. And we're looking for, let me see how this sets up. Well, we're looking for us if there's any more institutions that are into buying this. Okay, so PHTC. So if you're watching Tiger TV, what I'm doing right now, folks, what happens is that you're looking for October. 12th or 13th on the right hand side. That's what you're looking for. And we don't have any of it. So it, it doesn't mean that institutions are not buying it. What it means is that um, the aspect of, and here, I'll bring that trade up. Uh, Tiger's telling me it's 300,000 on one trade. Well, it, it must have been broken up because the, there's the trades right there, the large trades. So. I'm sure it's broken up. But anyway, I, when someone, when a large fund either owns, oh, Friday, I see, okay. Uh, whether a large fund owns 5% of it uh, or more, or most large funds, period, um, basically file every time that they buy an equity uh, once they are uh, even at 1%. Royal Gold. We're taking, taking a look at Royal Gold. Uh, it is up three dollars uh, today, and the real question is, uh, has this uh, hit hit the lows? You know, uh, this was very concerning for all of us inside the gold market, folks. Okay, because what it was, okay, that one's not going to work for me. Oh, here we go. What it was is that when the streamers, okay, so the streamers up, uh, Royal Gold, Franco Nevada, those are the two biggest streamers, and when they don't have juice behind them. It's a problem because somehow the, the markets can sniff out um, kind of how that shakes out. So even right now, I mean, you know, yeah, it found some strength out here today. You're up three and a half dollars. Let's see what it came into. Okay, so we know, well, this would be good. Okay, because 2.2 million, you rejected lower price, and We'll end up, let me just see this volume here. Yesterday, oh, that's good. Yesterday did 200,000. It looks like you're going to have lighter volume than last week, too. If that's what you get, hey, man, you know, the bottom line is that we may have a start. That, that's what it comes down to, which is, which is a beautiful thing. There's no two ways about that, meaning um, that we might have some action uh, upside. We got to take a look at the NQs. The NQs, we, you know, when I started the program, I was talking about the building cause aspect. You want to wrap your head around this building cause, folks, okay? Um, it can, you know, it can really help you in general. And you can see we're blowing it away now. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. You, you know, you're coming through and more than likely, let me see this. Okay, so we're five minutes into this bar. Um, now this bar here, so the way I, I do it is this, okay? So, so picture, you, you have a consolidation that's been going on all day. What, and this was a little tricky out here today because what, what you had is this. When we came down to the bottom of the consolidation, there wasn't enough sellers. When we went up, both times that we went up, you know, there was some pretty good juice behind the move. That being said, though, what I've found is this. So when we went up, the, the, we had a nice bar at noontime, right? 
But the noontime bar couldn't take out the bar from this morning. And then we had another nice bar right before I got in the air, uh, no, 10 past 2. That also couldn't take out the bar that was generated out here at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 12 noon, rather. When you see something like that, it's like, hey, okay, man, you know, the bottom line, it wants to go to lower price. So now what we're doing, we're down at the lower end of the consolidation, and we just broke it, okay? So we're at 627, 14,627, 14,633 is the bottom. Um, Thus far, we're six minutes into the bar. We're looking for uh, 16,000 contracts, and right now you get seven. So we'll see whether, number one, can it stay below it, and number two, do you get volume? If you don't, the bottom line is going to make a run for the top side again. That's how, that's how this shakes out. So if you're trading it, the bottom line is that, you know, if you're day trading, it comes into the end of the day, and this always gets tricky, man. What I, what I do is I put a buy stop, because I'm shot right now, okay? So you put a buy stop, and you know, you almost always. I'm always trying to hide it behind another bar. That's that's kind of the bottom line, you know, to see where this baby shakes out. But it looks to me that uh, you, we just broke. And the, in this case, we'll, what what did end up happening, folks, is this: the S and P. Like I go back and forth between. Even though I'm always trading the NDX 100, I like trading the NDX. Um, that the S and P, the spy. When I, I mean the the. the S&P futures gave me a better hint of the probability that we were going to break on the NASDAQ. And the reason being, see what happened there? That what had happened is that the, the SPY was actually weaker than the S&P intraday. Now, when that happens intraday, my take on it is that the NDX is much weaker than the SPY. So if the SPY is going to go south, the NDX should go south. That's kind of how the setup goes. Uh, XAU, HUI, we take a look at the XAU, the HUI right now. You got the XAU. Um, oh, it's gonna be a nice setup. This is good. What this is gonna be, this is gonna be a rejection of lower price. I don't get the volume till eight o'clock tonight, but we're up $1.52 after you know being uh, at 130, you know, 122.92, you're at 124. 83 right now and then the gold bugs index we take a look at the gold bugs index that baby same setup oh that's going to be prime just to take out a b point tomorrow and i believe we already have an abc up no we don't have an abc up but it'll be really cool because tomorrow if we do more than 17.5 million shares and we get over 245 92 you get an ABC structure on the way up. And I, I suspect that's exactly what these equities are going to do. Because the gold equities, if, you, if you're in them, you know that um, this has been, uh, we've been two different things. We've been going down for a long period of time. That being said, the last two weeks, when these gold stocks move, man, they move fast. I mean, they've been a one-way run the last two weeks on the way higher. That's, that's how they, they've all... And, and they all trade together. That's the real bottom line. Heckler's down today because they basically blew it with how many ounces they got coming out of the ground. But the reality is that they all trade higher. The thing that's a mind blower right now about the gold market in general is that we have the dollar almost at all-time highs. And gold, bottom line, is moving, though. You know, so we'll see where it uh, is going to shake out. If we go take a look at the 30-year bond, 30 year, both the 10 year and the 30 year, they came back to uh, a lower swing point. They did that with lighter volume. And bottom line is that, you know, today, I wouldn't say it's a sign of strength. It's, it's a good move. It's, it's 10, it's a one full point plus 10 ticks. It's a good move. We got one more move like this, man. Bottom line, you're going right back to the highs again. And my take is that we are going back to the highs. And I know that's insane, folks, okay? Uh, but guess what? The, my reasoning goes like this, that the market is in a correction. When the market's in a correction, if we get a good correction going, you're going to see these bonds go to the moon in about two seconds. Why? People just should get their money back. And that's what they want to do is get their money back. And, that's, and they'll, they'll come off the equities, they'll go into the bonds, lay the bonds there, and then, yes, I'm going to do, as soon as we come back, we'll do platinum. Platinum's finally moving out here. We have uh, Dow. Dow right now is down uh, 155. Nasdaq's up 40. S&P's are down 17. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Don't forget, come over to our website at TFNN. I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman. He's going to do a great workshop for you. Next Tuesday, all you have to do, test drive 
his newsletter. You get a great newsletter. You come in on a workshop next week. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 160. Nasdaq's down 37. S&Ps are off 16 and a half. Let's get, take a look at the uh, platinum futures out here. So what we have, P, there we are, right there, December. So we are at, wouldn't that be PL? Yeah. There's not many con contracts here. That blows my mind, actually. But anyway, bottom line, you're at 1,012. It's telling me there's only five contracts out here. That can't be the platinum future. Uh, I'm gonna, let me just do the, I'm gonna do the generic one. Um, okay, so we're at 1,007. You get off the lows. Oh, I gotta get this thing, okay. So, yeah, I mean, I like it. 1,007, next move is a 1,128. It broke its downtrend, man. And it broke it with, with, it with conviction. It had the wide price spread, had the, had the real deal. It's about time, too. That's the real bottom line. So uh, PPLT is the ETF, if you're looking at an ETF or something like that, folks. And you'll see that uh, that is trading at 94. Your buy is about 92.25. But this also broke. It's downtrend, had conviction on the break, and that's saying, that, guess what, this thing can stack up to 102. So platinum is set up uh, to go to higher price. Uh, that, that's how this baby is set up right now. And we'll see how the uh, rest of this uh, does, does shake out. 
we, we take a look at the uh, market uh, bottom line. Let's see volume-wise what we're going to have out here. You're drifting lower. And as we drift on the NYSE, yeah, you're going to do about 750 million. That's what we did yesterday, which is light volume, by the way. We do in the NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ's going to have volume, man. Here it is. Look at this. On a quiet day, the NASDAQ already has 3.7 billion. So they're unloading the NASDAQ, man. The NASDAQ's going to have about 4 billion shares. Um, this, this market wants to go south. It, it's just it's coming out this way. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Yeah, look at them, folks. Building wealth 